Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. In this one, we're going to compare the Epiphone Viola Bass up to the Epiphone Rumble Cat Allen Woody Signature Bass. Are they going to sound the same, or are they going to be different? Let's find out. I have previously filmed independent review videos on both the Viola and the Rumble Cat, so if you haven't seen those, please check out the links in the description box below. So this Epiphone Viola is a rental from my local music store, and I thought it would be interesting to compare it sonically with my Epiphone Rumble Cat Allen Woody bass. For this sonic comparison, we're going to put both of these basses up to the same drum track, and we're going to compare different pickup configurations and different tone configurations. So for the first two passes, we're going to have the neck pickup with the tone knobs at 50% and 100%. Then we're going to compare it with both pickups with the tone knobs at 50 and 100%. And for the last pass, even though it is definitely not an apples to apples comparison, we're going to compare the middle pickup on the Rumble Cat to the bridge pickup on the viola with the tone knob at 50%. All right, sonic comparison time. Let's go.
hope you enjoyed that playing example. Please let me know what you thought of the tones by leaving a comment below. My first impressions, I gotta say I was quite surprised by the outcome of the sonic comparison. The Epiphone Rumble Cat sounded quite a bit bassier and tubbier in comparison to the viola bass. I think many of us have this preconceived sonic notion that anything that looks like a beetle bass is going to have that warm thuddy sound. But this particular viola was quite a bit brighter than I had initially expected. So when we compare the neck pickup on both these basses head to head, the Rumble Cat was quite a bit thumpier and bassier in comparison to this viola. Now on further investigation, the pickup placement is quite different between these two, even though both of them are so-called neck pickups. On the Rumble Cat, if you measure from the middle of this mini humbucker to the saddles, it is measuring about eight and a half inches. In comparison, if you measure from the middle of the neck pickup on the viola to the saddle, it's only measuring seven inches. So the neck pickup on the viola bass is quite a bit closer to the bridge than it is on the Rumble Cat. And I think that explains quite a bit of the more mid-rangey, uh, more articulate nature and brighter nature of the neck pickup tone on the viola. Other things to consider. The body woods are different. The Rumble Cat is made out of mahogany. In contrast, the viola bass is made out of maple. Now, maple in general is thought to be a brighter wood in comparison to mahogany. Let's compare the tap tones on the back of this viola bass with the rumble cat. So right off the bat, you can hear the viola is much more resonant. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a cutaway uh, to reveal the construction of the viola in comparison to the rumble cat but the tap tones are quite different. Now, aside from the sonic differences, how about comfort? And here I have to say that despite the iconic appearance of the Beetle bass, I have never found them comfortable to play. I always found the sharper corners to kind of dig into my thigh. And more importantly, due to the presence of the tailpiece and the floating bridge, everything is shifted uh, towards the neck. So in, in the playing position, first position is a little bit further away on these beetle style bases as a result. In comparison, the playing position of the Rumble Cat is much more familiar and is quite a bit closer to many of my other short scale bases. So if comfort is an issue, definitely I would recommend trying both of these in a store if you can to see which one fits your body. In terms of neck dive, if you're gonna hang these on a strap, this Rumble Cat balances pretty well, both here I'm suspending it on the strap pins, as well as on the lap. With the Epiphone, because the strap pin is located underneath the heel here, on a strap, it does have a tendency to want to roll forward and away from you this way. So the ergonomics of the instrument between these two are quite different. In terms of string spacing, the Epiphone Viola has a string spacing of approximately 16 millimeters. Now this is wider than my Hofner. The string spacing on my Hofner club bass is closer to 14 millimeters. So 16 on the Viola, is quite a bit bigger than the Hofner in terms of playing feel. However, on the Rumble Cat, on this stock uh, three-point bridge, the string spacing is close to the 17.5 millimeters. At time of filming, in Canadian dollars, the Epiphone Viola Bass is selling for around $650. The Epiphone Rumble Cat, however, is selling for closer to $800. So, there's about 150 Canadian dollar difference between these two. So there you have it. A quick comparison between the Epiphone Viola Bass with the Epiphone Rumble Cat. All right. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. Catch you next time. Peace.